In game one action, it was South Knox hosting Menton Stockton in sectional softball. The Miners led 3-0 in the seventh. Senior Aubrey Ewers would have a deep shot to center field, but it will be caught for an out. Senior Ezra Davis and Sidney Lockhart would get on base, though, in the seventh. The Spartans got out of the inning, giving up no more runs, but they only had three outs left to score the three runs they needed to tie the game. Scoring runs against Alex Overman has been a problem all season for opposing teams. Overman finished with seven strikeouts. South Knox never had a real chance to tie the game. Sidney Barkhart made sure of that with this throw to Aaron Elliott at first base. Allie Brownfield will make the grab in the infield to secure the win as the Miners move on 3 to nothing. Minton will take on the winner of Eastern Green versus North Knox. This is the best season the T-Birds have had in a long time as Indy Workman has done a great job from the circle this season. The play of the night, though, was widely utter with this double play. That's the inning. One left the board for North Knox. Halfway home, scoreless. The game was scoreless through four innings but North Knox would get on the board in the fifth. Workman would prevent more damage by getting some key strikeouts. One run for North Knox, comes in on an error. Senior Sierra Vault would reach third base in the following inning, but it was as far as Eastern Green would get. The T-Birds struggled to string hits together all night long. One left the board for Eastern Green 5, one nothing, good knock. North Knox's Riley Petro would bat in another run to secure the win. Eastern Green would also fall three to nothing, but they would win six games on the season, making it one of the best seasons in a while.